Hey, welcome back to the Teal Jack channel. I want to thank you for taking time to watch another one of my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe with you if you would. And what I've got for you today is something that was put out by one of my local news media stations. And this would be um, the, the Fox affiliate for the Portland, Oregon area. And they were discussing the fact that because of the fires that are here in Oregon, Portland has been in extremely smoky conditions for for days now. And in fact, they say that the conditions are so bad that it's extremely hazardous. Now, I was a former firefighter for a number of years and fought quite a few wildfires early on in my teens, early 20s. And I currently suffer from asthma. And I believe it's a direct result of the firefighting that I did early on in my life uh, before I got injured and now I'm not a firefighter anymore but I was in much smokier conditions than here presently in Portland and so I believe personally that's why I have asthma and I've believed that for a number of years and in fact they even told the pulmonologist that saw me that that's why I believe I have asthma of course, he denied it and said that it's genetic and that I've had it my whole life. And yeah, he didn't have an answer for me when I told him that, you know, I used to bike race uh, very competitively and didn't have any problems breathing. And even into my early 20s, I was still riding long distance and didn't have any breathing problems. And then I hit my 30s and that's when trouble started coming on. And so he didn't have an answer for me, yet he still wanted to say it was genetic. It's neither here nor there. What I'm referring to is the news story here that was put out by our local Fox affiliate when they stated that the cloth masks that everybody are wearing are ineffective for the smoke. So if it's ineffective for the small particulates uh, that are in the air, that is in the smoke, then how are they protective against a virus? Because the reality of it is they're not. And yet they don't want to tell you that much. And prior to they did that story, they ran a commercial telling all of us that we need to do our part to save a life by wearing masks. Yet they come back from their commercial and do a story that says the cloth masks are ineffective at protecting you from the particulates in the smoke. Yet somehow, miraculously, those same cloth masks are going to protect you against a virus. And all I'm saying is this just goes to show you the hypocrisy that is present in our country about wearing masks. They don't want to actually disclose to you the truth around those masks. And so my advice is, is to look into it. You find out for yourself if you think those cloth masks you're wearing or even some of the surgical masks people are wearing that aren't fully seated on their face. And you tell me if those are actually effective against protecting you against a virus. Because they've even said those same surgical style masks don't protect you against the smoke. And they've even said in their news stories that they, in order to protect you from the particulates in the smoke, you must be wearing an N95 mask that's fully seated around your face. So again, I say, how is it that a virus that is much smaller than the smoke particles, you're being protected by wearing the mask. And I would say the reality is, is right before your eyes. It doesn't take a genius to figure this out. I'll leave it for you to decide. Do your research. I know I have. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Hi, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch one of my